So, how to get a nice key. So we've got young Alpha here as Captain America telling us to eat our greens. So let's start by getting rid of the unwanted background elements. Just use our pen tool, select the layer. So we draw a mask, not a shape. And let's just draw around Alfie there. Just keep, there we go. And then the rest of it's quite loose. There we go. Get rid of all this. And there we go. And we just scrub through. There you go. He doesn't, he doesn't, uh, up there, he's just at the top. We're cutting him off slightly. So let's just make sure. There we are. Got your head in there. All good, all good. Just mount to... That's all fine. Okay, so that's the first bit done. Let's go to the animation presets menu over in our effects and presets. And let's go to image utilities and find this preset key light spill suppressor. Drop that onto there. And there we go. We've got our effect controls here. Let's take our eyedropper for the screen color. Drop it onto here. Pick some green. There we go. It's looking pretty good already. Not quite perfect. Let's see how that's looking. If we go to the view and go from intermediate result and go on to screen mat. There we go. Screen mat. And let's just then go onto the screen mat options. And we've sort of got some grey areas around here that are semi-transparent. So let's clip the black just a little bit. Should be fine. That's looking good. There you go. 20 seems to have done it and then we've got some bits in these white areas so let's clip the white until we've got a nice black and white image so let's just uh, go back to our intermediate result there we go uh, works better on the intermediate result and final result because of the key cleaner and spill suppressor prefer it let's go to the key cleaner this will just soften those hard edges and also tick on the reduce chatter box just to make it even smoother uh, you can see we've got some green around the edge let's just turn on the advanced spill suppressor and that's looking pretty good looking pretty good there we go All right, so now let's get some footage in the background. So we've got uh, the American flag here for Captain America. There we go. So we've got that going nicely in the background. Let's just uh, hit the P key for the Captain P. Let's just center him up a little bit there. There we go. We'll get him nicely in the center. That should do it okay and um i'd probably do a bit of color correction on the captain there uh but just for the tutorial i won't bother with that and what i want to do now is create uh what's called a light leak around the edges which will help make captain sit in the frame a little better so what we're going to do first of all is duplicate the bottom layer duplicate and stick it on top and what we want to do is we want to choose set mat and we're going to set a mat from the keyed layer but it won't work unless we make that keyed layer a pre-comp to give it an alpha channel um so we're going to go to this layer go to layer pre-compose move all attributes into new composition i'll call it captain America, there we go, and my bad type in there, Captain America. Okay, now I want the edges to be quite soft to create this uh, little edge glow, so let's go to Fast Blur, stick some blur on our flag, just whack it up, doesn't really matter. Repeat those edge pixels, okay, next, uh, set matte set mat there we go stick that on there and choose the mat to be captain america so now you can see we're getting the shape okay and we're going to invert that mat there we go so we've got all our, our blurry background there we'll fix that in a moment now let's go to channel 
blur let's put channel blur on and this is going to give us our nice edges around captain america so we'll take this up to about i don't know about 10 12 there we go we can adjust so 10 let's go for 10 and then finally let's punch put the background back in the original background so we'll just go back to set mat pop that back on this layer and once again choose captain america so now what you can see is if i turn this top layer on and off we've just got this light leak around the edge which is the kind of background light reflecting on the edge of the character and there you have captain america nicely keyed and setting the scene and if we need to change the amount of light leak we can just change the alpha blurriness on the channel blur setting so you take it right up there we go way too much but a small all you need is just a small amount to help the character just sit in the scene and there we go